hello lovelies. Well, I'm in my favourite forest again and uh, I'm actually stood by this giant vine and this rimu tree which I'm just going to pan up which is absolutely enormous. Very, very old. That's Hank you can hear. And look at this vine, if I can angle it right. And that goes all the way up and right the way up to the top of the tree. What a beautiful tree that is. Look at that. I'm going to go round the side view here so you can have a look at the side. What a magnificent tree. It's been there hundreds of years. Absolutely beautiful. It's got little, little nooks and crannies in it all the way up. And a beautiful canopy at the top. Those, these vines always remind me of, of the, the days of Tarzan swinging through the trees and stuff. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk about feeling today. There's so much going on in the world that we're so distracted with everything out here that we often forget or just don't do going within and actually wow. feeling within. And if you are opening up your psychic abilities, just ignore Hank, he's found a big stick. <coughs> And he wants me to play with it. So if you are opening up your psychic abilities, and even if you're not and you're already down this path, it's so easy to be distracted by everything that's on the outside. And it is so important to spend time feeling into your own body. Your body is like a compass and your body will show you the way to go, show you different things. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. Because of a lot of different traumatic things that happened on and off throughout my life, in totally different ways, um, which I'm writing about in my book. Um, we often learn to shut off those feelings. And it seems like it's a, it's a survival technique to, um, to help us cope so we don't feel things. We can just bypass it and move on. Um, but that way we, it's literally just like you're shoveling it down, pushing it down, push down, push down, push down, just get on with life. But that actually isn't the right way to go. The best thing you can do for yourself is to go through things, process them, whether it's loss of life, whether it's serious illness, whether it's loss of house or earnings or loss of job or whatever it is, is to process it, really look into it, let, then let it go. Once you've dealt with it within, then let it go and um, then move on because that way you are not putting in that, putting it in that um, energetic rucksack that you carry on your back, shoveling all these feelings and things into it. Uh, and uh, eventually it builds up and builds up and often it builds up through a lifetime or through half a lifetime and then comes out in some form of either emotional, mental or physical thing. So it's important to really deal with things as they come up and then let them go. So this is an exercise you can do. Is you can practice feeling into your own body. Start with your hand. So the best way to do this is to close your eyes and because then you've not got the visual distractions. So close your eyes and take your imagination and your consciousness into your hand and feel into it. What is happening in my hand? Well, 
I'm going to explain what's happening in my hand right now. As soon as I've paid attention to it and drawn my consciousness in there, I can feel the healing energy firing up. So my palm is hot and I can feel the whirling sensation of the healing energy coming through. So it's probably there all the time, but I just don't feel it all the time. So what else can I feel? I can feel my fingertips inside my fingertips, inside my fingers. I can feel definitely the palm of my hand is absolutely firing up and really hot. It feels hot to me anyway. It might not actually feel hot to somebody else if they was to touch my hand but I can feel the energy is huge. So what you do then is you start with your hand, then start with the other hand, because you might get a different sensation. I'm just gonna hold that round there because I need to change arms. Whoops. You might get a different sensation. So the other hand, what am I feeling in my other hand? So I'm taking my consciousness over into the other hand. And funnily enough, I'm getting a tingling sensation Sorry, I had to do that. I was wandering off a bit. Um, I'm getting a tingling sensation in my pointy finger in this hand. And the energy is nowhere near as intense in the palm of this hand as what it is in my left hand. So that's interesting. So now what I'm going to do, and you can follow along with me. I'm going to actually now take my consciousness and my energy down into my heart area. So I'm going into my heart chakra, which is in the center of my chest. What am I feeling in here? I feel like an openness. It's a, it's a, I almost want to take a breath in because it feels open and clear. That's what I'm feeling in my heart area. So I'm now going to go down further. Let's go into my stomach. What am I feeling in there? Well, when I go down into my stomach, this is where you get your gut feelings, of course. My gut feelings, which is connected to my higher consciousness and my consciousness, is that I need to move on in a minute because there's probably somebody coming <laughs> is what I'm getting. So um, I, this is really short and sweet tonight. So I'm going to leave this with you. Practice feeling into your body. Do it every day for at least 21 days, but I would say do it every day for a month because you're training yourself then to get into a habitual pattern of feeling into your body. And when you have any big decisions coming up, the best thing that you can do is to take whatever it is and move it down into your body. And what does it feel like? Does it feel good that yes, it's the right thing to do? Or does it feel mm, a bit of a dull feeling? No, I'm not sure about that. If you're not sure about it, then at the moment, it's probably not the right thing to do for you. But that doesn't mean to say in the future, it won't be the right thing to do. So, but this is when you're gonna get your internal guidance. So taking that, whatever it is, that decision you've got to make down into your gut and your heart. So you're engaged, your gut, your heart, and your higher consciousness are all engaged. Oh, good boy, Hank's right by my feet. Are all engaged. So you take that feeling down into your gut because it really is your gut. Remembering that your stomach and your heart have brain cells. So it's your guidance system. And if you're getting, yeah, that feels okay, then it's going to be okay and, it's, and it'll all work out. But even if you make the mistake of not feeling into your body correctly and you go and do something... Uh, that perhaps wasn't your from your guidance system don't stress about it because everything actually happens for a reason and because if you perhaps have made a decision that you may regret in the future you're going to learn something from it it might be learning to the, to really listen to yourself or it might be another 
uh, lesson or something that comes in for you. But don't beat yourself up about making any wrong decisions because they're not wrong decisions. Whatever you need at the time is going to present itself to you. Even if it's something that feels traumatic or feels horrible or whatever it is, it's coming to you for a reason. And you might find, depending on what it is, that it's been a pattern in your lifetime, throughout your life, because actually it's a lesson that repeats itself in a slightly different way each time to try and get you to learn from it. Remember, we've all come here to learn. This is like school. And we're, when we go home, that's when we die and we go, well, our, our soul goes over. So practice that feeling into yourself. There's so many distractions going on outside of ourselves at the moment. It's so important to keep that connection really strong within. Um, and that, that way, that is your internal guidance system. So I hope you in, in, uh, have enjoyed this video. Uh, my internal guidance system, as I said earlier, is actually saying to me it's time to move on because there are other people in this forest. And Hank is loose. Not that he would do anything, but other people get frightened of the way he looks. And uh, we don't want that. So I am going to say cheerio now and lots of love to you all. And take care. Bye for now. Bye.